Hey, this is Todd McVicker with Redeeming Dogs, and I've got Paisley here. Paisley's a six-month-old lab puppy. Um, she's, she's a nice little girl. She came in Wednesday, and we're getting her started on board and train. Uh, yeah, I know. We're going to do that in a minute. Um, uh -huh. right, so I'm going to train her, and then when she goes home, I'm going to take her litter mate, uh, Piper, and train Piper. So uh, when I train multiple dogs in the household, I like to train one first. Uh, then when I bring it home, they can work with that dog while I have the second dog. It just seems to work out better. So, uh, really excited dog, nice well-bred lab, smart, uh, like most labs, it's a very high food drive. So, we'll use a little bit of food, but it's actually, uh, can get her too overwhelmed. Uh, good girl. Uh, I did an early consultation with these owners, uh, with some basic puppy stuff, some dog psychology things to work on. So, they've given me a really good foundation of a dog to work with here. So uh, we can see she's offering me behaviors. Look at, look at how good I do this thing. You got any food for me? So uh, we're off to a good start with this dog. So let's just mess with her a little bit and see how she does. Okay, come on. Oh, she got a leash under her leg. All right, we'll fix that. Come on. Come on. Good. and this dog <laughs> keeps offering me place. So uh, we'll do that first, and she seems to want to do that. <laughs> Come on. Good. Place. Again. Yes. So I'm training this dog a lot using the marker system. Um, Michael Ellis... Um, pretty famous trainer uses the marker system a lot and I'll use it with some of these dogs that are really high drive, high energy dogs. It works well. Uh, yes. Good. Okay. Good. Good. <laughs> She's offering me that. train a dog like this, what I'm trying to do, I want to create really good associations with training. I want that dog, when it sees an e-collar and it sees that we're going to go train, I want that dog to be pumped. Uh, and so if that takes food in the beginning, it's food. If it takes uh, uh, toys, I'll use toys. And this dog has a pretty good retrieve drive too. But whatever it takes to get that dog excited about that, and once we've got that initial foundation of willingness to train, uh, we can fade the food, or we can we can you know not be so uh, uh, worried about reinforcing. We uh, the dog's just gotten in the habit of liking to work. Come on, Let's see if I can put her up into this wagon. It's nice for a big dog like this to be able to load up into the car by itself. So this is the, the first part of the load up command, uh, getting them to, to jump up into this little wagon. <laughs> Isn't that right? Very good, very good, very good. That's 
try one more down. It's a lot easier for them to down on there, and I just taught her down yesterday. So she's kind of not great at it yet. Might put a little bit of pressure on her back to help her on this. <laughs> Come here. Yes. But that tail is just yes. That tail is just going furiously the whole time. So anyway, we're, we're getting off to a good start. This dog's smart. She's she's interested in training. She's going to be an easy train. Uh, if I can work through some of this enthusiasm and use it to my benefit. So, thanks. <laughs>